it looks like Snake Boy is coming in 10th edition. The rumors, the whispers of the warp seem to be correct. Again, Games Workshop, I've just put out a brand new article. It's all about the Emperor's children. It's all about them getting an index. Let's jump in. Let's take a look at this. And also, let's go over some of the rumors about the Emperor's children, the stuff that I've heard through the whispers, and maybe some things like we're hopeful for that is going to be happening with the Emperor's children launch, if it does indeed happen happen. So let's jump over to this window where we can look at the information and go over some of the main talking points. There's definitely a tease by Games Workshop in this about this new codex. If you want to go and read this article over here, it's over on the Warp Community website right now, so you can pause this video, you can click it off, do whatever you want, you can go read it for yourself. Uh, but the first thing um, that massively stands out in this article is this line here. It's, it, it's all about the upcoming Chaos Space Marine Codex and what's not going to be in there in terms of the Emperor's Children. It says Lucius the Eternal and Noise Marine squads are both absent from the Codex Chaos Space Marines and while none can say why they chose not to show up for the next big Chaos Shindig they aren't going without rules. Now of course, <laughs> we know why they're not turning up. The rumors have been out there for a while now that, of course, the Empress children are getting that brand new codex. We'll go over to the latter parts of like the rumors and stuff in a second. The thing that really sticks out towards this is that this is the exact same thing that happened with the World Eaters. For those of you who weren't around in 9th edition, towards the back end of 9th edition, we had the World Eaters come out, and the World Eaters stuff wasn't in the Chaos Codex around that time. There's a lot of speculation about that, and of course, Angron burst out on the scene with the World Eaters and everything that followed um, in, in, in their Red Bloody Wake. So they're doing the exact same process again, this time for the Emperor's Children. For me, this is 100% confirmation that we are indeed going to be getting that Emperor's Children Codex. I know a lot of people have been asking questions about this. I've only just done some rumor videos about this um, previous in the previous weeks with people asking questions. Is it still happening? Is it, is, it, is, it, is it going to be the future? Is it still releasing this summer? Again, all I heard from my whispers in the warp is that it's 100% happening. There is going to be a brand new full game Primark model and the Emperor's Children will be getting their own Codex. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the codex, this is where it's quite on the nose from Games Workshop itself. It's all about this last paragraph all the way here. It states, you might think that this heralds the immediate announcement of a new codex, which of course a lot of people uh, would want, you know, give us brand new Empress children straight away. Perhaps one bound in human skin and painted in garnished colors. But if so, it's too distant for even one community, astropathic choir to detect any signals. Uh, we got a stern talking to from the Inquisitor for even trying. We can only assume we're in safe for the foreseeable future, but if that changes, then we'll let you know. Again, from what I've been hearing from the whispers of the warp, the Empress Children is probably going to be towards the back end of this 10th edition. So towards more or less the launch of the 11th edition just like what we got with the world eaters really where we got that one two hit of two primates coming back i predict that's going to happen again where we're going to get a one two hit of two different primates one being fulgrim and the other being lehman russ with the space walls but of course the space wall stuff is a whole separate another video it'd be interesting to get your viewpoints on this do you actually think now that the empress children are getting a codex do you think that passage of text which gw have been putting in their articles is more or less confirmed in it i'm taking it as 100 confirmation it's just they're just being sneaky with it like a sneaky snake boy fulgrim um now i just want to just go over some of the rumors that we've been hearing about um, the empress children just to refresh people's memories maybe new people who don't know what the hell's going on and um, we are going to be getting a brand new fulgrim model that is what i was told by the whispers of the warp when they were whispering about the empress children getting their own codex and stuff so fulgrim is definitely coming back into the setting technically he is already back back in the law he was in the arcs of omen books and abaddon was furious with him because while everyone was fighting and taking it towards the imperium and you know trying to destroy the imperium fulgrim was just doing fulgrim films and just chilling out on the planet uh excess slanesh you know all that kind of weird stuff that fulgrim um absolutely does and um, abaddon was like I'm, I'll, I'll get him i'll get him i'll slap him around and stuff like that uh, which would be an awesome thing you know to to see abaddon try and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with fulgrim i'm probably gonna put all my money on fulgrim um in terms of other models um i've heard that of course there's going to be a brand new lucius the eternal and this article again 
more or less backs that up because Lucius is being taken out of the of the Codex. And Lucius is one of the figureheads um, of the Emperor's Children range because he's been there since the beginning. Noise Marines, of course, are a given. One of the things that's borderline at the moment that I've heard some rumors about, but nothing, nothing really set in stone, is that potentially we could be getting a brand new 40k Eidolon model. Now, Eidolon um, was basically the 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 main legion master of the emperor's children and when fulgrim went away and became you know snake boy and he didn't care for his legion anymore and stuff like that um eidolon basically became the de facto leader of the emperor's children for me i would love to see eidolon get a brand new 40k model because as i stated he is now the leader of the emperor's children with without eidolon there would more or less just be like just different war bands or killing each other and stuff like that. I Eidolon is like the main bridge because Ful Fulgrim doesn't care. Lucius the Eternal is just all about himself and doing what he wants to do and stuff like that. So I'm hoping we do get an Eidolon and maybe some other units as well. Maybe some upgrade kits and stuff for your Slanesh Marines and all that other stuff. I'm sure that's going to be on the table as well. It's nice to see that the Whispers of the Warp seem to be correct again. All praise the Warp. Wait, hang on. Don't do that. Um, the big thing about this is that the same Whispers from the Warp who were talking about the Slaneshi stuff, the Emperor's Children, Fulgrim and stuff like that, have also been talking about Blood Angels and Space Wolves and some other massive things um, in the future of 40k. So if this does turn out to be correct, then... I'm sure there's going to be an absolute fantastic release schedule for models uh, for Space Marines and, you know, Eldar and other races and stuff like that coming for Warmer 40,000. But that's enough waffling from me, as always. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Uh, wherever you're around the world, have a nice uh, morning, evening, afternoon, uh, late, wherever you are, good night and stuff like that. See you in a bit and bye-bye.